Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly, and um, it, this looks a lot better than yesterday, okay? That's the first thing I gotta say, all right? <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it, it looks, it looks really, honestly, it looks good. There's just a few things in here, uh, that I see that could be really bothering you or, you know, um, but the first reading that we have here is, is Anzus, okay? So Anzus is a rune of communication. So you're going to be receiving some sort of communication, uh, Pisces. Now, generally, Anzus is talking about, uh, you know, work or school. But in just a general reading, I think it's just basically, it can be any kind of communication. It's just, you know, generally speaking, it could, it could be, um, you know, about uh, school or work. But I think it's, it's, I think it's more than that. It's just basic some sort of communication. <laughs> All right. um, and I see Isa here. Isa is slow energy. All right. So something, um, something has been kind of like on your mind for a while. All right. Something's been on your mind for a while, Pisces. Look at this. You have you have the uh, the Nine of Swords, so I mean, it's like you're having a hard time sleeping. You're worried about something so much. You've been worried about it for a long time, for too long. You got to stop worrying. Worrying is going to hurt you. Um, worrying, um, worrying, um, it it does something to your body. So you shouldn't really worry as much as you do. Um, I, I understand. I worry a lot too, but stress and worry can actually cause um, illness. So you don't want that. Um, and from what I can see in the reading, I don't really think that you need to really worry so much, um, because the next reading that I see here, Pisces, is is uh, Canaz, and Canaz is. Um, is success, victory and success. So, I mean, whatever it is here, Pisces, you're, you're going to have victory and success. And with Tiwaz right here in reverse, it could mean a few things. Well, for sure, number one, it means that you need to slow down in some sort, some sort of aspect in your life. Um, if any of you have ever driven a car in the snow, you know that uh, if you give it too much gas, it's going to spin out and you're not going to go anywhere. So that's what Tiwaz is talking about for sure. But it's also talking about that, um, you know, that you're kind of worried. You're worried about something. It's saying that you're, you're worried about if this is talking about a relationship, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship, Pisces, but when t -wise is in reverse, if we're talking about a relationship, if you're wondering about a relationship, this particular uh, uh, rune is kind of saying that you're, you're worried about it. You're worried that it could be fizzing out. All right? Um, but now the thing is here, Pisces, if that's the case, you don't really need to worry as bad because you have Pertho here. Pertho is a rune saying that things are not as they seem. So something, so you don't feel, you feel like something's not right, but, you know, things are not as they seem. All right? And with Urus in reverse, this could be talking about a missed opportunity for some, but... I really kind of feel more so that Urus is talking about being kind of exhausted and tired because you're having trouble sleeping. Um, but like I said, uh, with Pertho right here, 
this is talking about secrets and how things are not always as they seem. All right. And it's next to Wang Yu. And Wang Yu is happiness and joy. So this is going to make you really happy, Pisces. This is a celebration of some sort. So you're going to be celebrating something. You're going to be happy and relieved about something. All right. Don't know what that is, but um, yeah, this is going away. All right. And then um, now I see uh, right right here. This is talking about uh, travel. So maybe some of you Pisceans are going to be out there traveling. Um, you know, Rito talks about travel. And um, so it, it's going to be a good trip. If you're going to be planning to, trip, to take a trip, it's a good time. And with Rito in the upright, it's, it's a good trip. You know, it's a fun-filled trip. And when Rito comes up like that, it's not worrying about getting to or from it's more about enjoying the ride all right so yeah now with Menez here in reverse this is kind of like you know you've been like this is kind of reminds me of the hermit card you guys sort of so with Menez in reverse it's it um you know you you're going deep within. You're kind of like spending some time alone and, and you're thinking things, you're thinking things, you got a bunch of stuff on your mind, okay? Look at all these swords. This is thoughts. <laughs> and yeah, so I mean, you're thinking things through, all right? Um, you've got a couple really super good cards here though. Yeah, I mean, and plus Wong Yu is celebrations, but you've got the King of Wands. The King of Wands is on fire. I mean, the King of Wands does not say no. So, you know, not take a no for an answer. You're just, you're, 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 you're going for it, uh, Pisces. You're working your magic. And when I see the Empress uh, card right here, um, it's just talking about, you know, offering your gratitude for all that you've created. And so, you know, you can build on this energy to create even more. All right. So this is abundance. So that's kind of like really awesome. I pulled uh, one of these moonology cards here. It says new moon in Gemini. Think it through. Think it through, Pisces. Think it through. And I see you thinking it through right here with Menez in reverse. Um, but just remember, you know, I know you're really worried. Some of you are really worried, can't sleep at night. Um, uh, but uh, things are not as they seem. So if you're worried about something, it's not really as bad as it seems. It can't be. Not with Perth all right there like that, all right? So I know how it is, though, Pisces. I always think for the worst myself. And it's kind of a bad trait of ours. <laughs> We always think that the worst is going to happen, but it's just because we've had so much crap happen to us that, that we don't know, you know, what's coming at, to us next. So, yeah, I definitely feel that one. But anyhow, Pisces, there you go. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And by the way, if you haven't uh, already, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right then, Pisces. Bye for now.